do with the Pharaoh's own son. At last the Pharaoh gave in. Moses could lead the Israelites to God's promised land. They were free at last. God sent a pillar of fire by day and a pillar of fire by night to guide Moses and his people through the desert. But as they reached the edge of the Red Sea, the Israelites looked around in fear. Every soldier in the Egyptian army was racing across the desert to capture them. Pharaoh had changed his mind. Who would build and clean his palaces? He needed those slaves back. Moses' people were in despair, and even some even thought they should go back to the barrel. They were trapped with the Red Sea before them and 600 chariots behind them. But God had told Moses what to do. Have no fear, said Moses, as he lifted his rod and stretched his hand out over the sea. To everyone's astonishment, the waves drew back to make two walls of water. Before them was a dry path that would lead the Israelites to freedom at last. Quickly, the Israelites fled through the tunnel of water. The Egyptian army tried to follow them, but God's pillar of cloud swirled around the soldiers, confusing them. Once Moses' people had safely crossed the Red Sea, God lifted the cloud and the army charged after them. As soon as every chariot was on the path, Moses raised his hand again. The two huge walls of water tumbled back together. Within moments, the entire army was washed away. How the Israelites cheered. Together they joined Moses in prayer and thanked God for their freedom. Moses led the Israelites through the wilderness for three long months. At last, God sent for Moses to come to the top of the mountain so he could speak with them. While a fire burned slightly, brightly at the top of Mount Sinai, Moses' people waited for their leader to return to them. Moses was up on the mountain for 40 days and 40 nights. When he returned, he brought a gift from God. Written on two stone tablets by the Lord himself were ten special laws that God wanted his people to live in. In carrying those commandments with them, the people who once were slaves set off to live in freedom. This is God himself that promised. And that's it? Wow. So that's the end of the Ten Commandments. Yeah. Okay. Everybody's waiting for the party on the Red Sea. You're supposed to go like that. Yeah, make it look nice.